Good morning, good morning. Another beautiful day, wonderful day to be in Christ and to experience his freedom. I have a musing for you this morning. So the other day I saw a headline in Japan that said there was an Astro Boy painting. Astro Boy is a cartoon, an anime, and it's a child's one. And there was a painting of Astro Boy on a bridge and it said it was taken down. I didn't read the article, I only read the headlines really, but it said it was valued at $1.3 million. And I thought, really, that's kind of ridiculous. $1.3 million. So somebody had an appraisal of that painting that was painted on a bridge. And I could have just listened to the appraisal and said, wow, $1.3 million. Wow, that's an expensive painting. You know, that's too bad that they took it down. What a travesty. It was worth so much. Or I could have had my own appraisal, my own personal valuing of the painting. And I thought, well, if I actually wanted it, I might have paid 60 bucks for it. There's a different value system there. I either respect the appraisal of someone else or I respect my own appraisal of something. Well, there was a valuing system. I'm not going to go through that scripture, but back in the Exodus story, where the children of Israel were told to take a lamb, a young lamb, and to sacrifice it and to eat it. You cook it and you eat it and you stay in your home. It was called the Passover lamb. And they didn't tell them exactly what was happening, but they said the destroyer was coming. And God said he was going to destroy the firstborn. So in an essence, they determined, God determined, that that lamb was the price. Obeying, obeying and paying the cost of that lamb was the price of their firstborn child. And every one of those families that obeyed thought that it was worth it. That lamb was worth the sacrifice to save the life of the child. Their child was worth the cost of that lamb. Well, if you go to Romans chapter 5 and verse 6, it says, While we were yet weak, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. That's for those who didn't want God. Those who were doing wrong, right? The ungodly. It goes on to say, Rarely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So God is the appraiser in this case, and he considered that you were worth the life and the blood of his only son, Jesus. That was his appraisal. The question is, how do we appraise it? Do we accept the appraisal of the all-knowing, all-powerful creator? Every time I talk about God like that, it kind of puts things on tilt. The one who knows everything, the one who created everything. Do we accept his appraisal of us, where he said, you are worth the blood of of my son? Or do we think of our own appraisal or someone else's appraisal? Which one do you think is accurate? I think what God said is what it is. He considered you worth it. Now there's a difference. When we talk about Jesus, we say he is worthy because he did it. He made the sacrifice. He listened, obeyed the Father, and he was raised up again, and he's worthy of all honor and all glory. He is worthy. He accomplished the great feat, so to speak. But us, he says, you are worth it. He didn't say you were worthy. He didn't say you did the feat, you accomplished it. He said you were worth it. You are worth the price that I paid. All we have to do then is agree with the appraiser, agree with that price. It's not a cause to boast, but we do boast in how good he is and how much he's done. Amen. Be blessed. You are worth it.